And first impressions, I, I just thought it was such a nice, welcoming, calm environment. It's big, but it's not um, huge, and it's not tiny either, so it's really lovely. When I first moved in, one of the first couple of days, I just look outside my window and I could see all the gardens and the, the trees. And I was just like, oh my God, this is home now. And it, it really felt like home. I think before I came to uni, I was like slightly worried because you hear loads about Oxford. So you just think that everyone's going to be like really, really hardworking and intense and like portion upper class. Coming to Balliol all of those sort of preconceptions disappeared because everyone was sort of like me in a way. It was just sort of like oh everyone's normal, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's friendly, everyone really is interested in what they're doing but at the same time has other interests that they want to pursue. I didn't actually choose Balliol, I got pulled in, however I'm absolutely thrilled that I did get into Balliol in the end. We have an amazing group, we have amazing tutors and overall it's just a really nice environment. The great thing about the college system is that you get both a formal and an informal support network. There's really support in every area that you can think of, from finance to welfare. They can help pay for certain things like prescriptions. Free feminine hygiene products, that's yeah. been so helpful. As a fresher, you'll be living on the main site, uh, which is lovely, the really old historic rooms. You really don't feel alone here. You're surrounded by friends all the time. Incredibly central, a minute away from the hall, two minutes away from the library. Well, if I want to do anything, it's right by my doorstep. You are put in uh, staircases based on your sort of room allocation preferences. Luckily, I made my best friend who was my neighbour um, in first year, so that staircase system really worked out for us. You have accommodation for all the years of your course here, um, but you do get the option when you finish first year to live off-site or live on-site, which is much nicer because the community's still there. It's so fun being here the first week and like exploring and finding the nice spots. The different seasons as well, it has like a different like allure to it. And it's really like incredible to take in that, you know, we get to study in like a really beautiful place. The tutors don't expect the world of you from week one, week two, week three. They know that you're just getting used to the environment of university, so that's, that's really nice. Some of my tutors have been some of my favourite academics, and getting to talk with them and asking the questions that, like, that come up when you read their works and their texts, yeah, it's really amazing. It, it really does remind you why you're here and why you love the subject. I think what really makes you remember how amazing it is when you have people to visit and they see the hall and they're like, you eat here for breakfast, lunch and dinner. For breakfast, lunch and dinner every yeah. day. And I'm like, yeah. I'm a huge fan of hall breakfast. <laughs> it really makes my day. We have Bailey or fried chicken, which I think is really funny. Is it called BFC on the like? I think it I, is. I think, it's just, I think that's just what people have coined it. Uh -oh. <laughs> for me, the, the best thing is the availability of vegetarian options. They do a really good vegan trifle. Having the library available at all times is just amazing. If you're looking for something that may not necessarily be found in other libraries, you can just ask the librarians, um, can we order this in? And it's usually a very quick turnaround. That has been really helpful for me in a history and English degree. I do so much reading. There's so many societies. Honestly, societies for like everything. I've joined in the JCR, I do the Balliol's comedy debate. So last year I was president of the Bain Society at Balliol. If you're into drama, you can do the charity musical. That was the first time when I was wearing fishnets. Yeah, he was brilliant. There's a Balliol math society called Bums, Balliol Undergraduate Math Society. <laughs> we call it Bums on Ice. Ice skating, lots of falling, hence Bums on Ice. The Bailey of Blue is the college drink, which you can find in the Lindsay Bar, which is completely student-run. Blue Curacao. Lemonade. Vodka. Peach nap. No umbrellas. <laughs> if I could summarise Bailey Oil in one phrase, it would be a home away from home. I would say it's like when it's a really cold morning and you wrap your hands around a really hot oh, cup of tea. Yeah. That's what I think Bailey Oil feels like. <laughs> There is no such thing as a typical Balliol student or person. It's not just people studying different subjects, but also people with different interests, different backgrounds, different nationalities, different sexualities. It's all represented at Balliol. When I came in here, I was a shy, sort of quiet kind of person. Now I'm vice president of the JCR <laughs> committee. <laughs>
It's warm, it's welcoming, unpretentious, fun. Inclusive. Lively. Vibrant. Supportive. Fairly old somewhere that you can be yourself and learn to be part of a community. I've met some amazing people, had some amazing experiences, um, and I feel like it set me up for life. I would definitely urge anyone who's thinking of it to apply. Couldn't imagine myself anywhere else. Yeah, exactly.